Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to do this vector graphic style animation in HitFilm Express for free. So this is actually inspired by a new short film by Stu Mashwitz at Red Giant called Tank. And if you have not seen this short film, then you need to stop watching this video right now and go and watch this short film. There is a link in the description below. I will be happy to wait for you until you come back. As soon as you watch that, then you can come back and see what I'm going to do. So the cool thing about this is, is that it really looks like the old school vector graphic video games, right? And I thought, wow, it would really be cool to be able to do something like this in HitFilm Express. So I immediately watched the making of video that Stu Mashwitz created to go along with this film. And after watching that, I realized, oh, you know, we really can do this in HitFilm Express. Uh, not everything uh, that he does, I'm going to obviously cover the vast majority of the things that he does in his uh, video I'm going to uh, not worry about, uh, but I am going to cover the basics for this beginner level tutorial. At one point in his making of, he says this. This expression, or really this part of this expression, converts 3D coordinates to 2D coordinates. I use it all the time to place lens flares based on 3D nulls. And I realized, hey, this is doable in HitFilm Express, but we're not going to use an expression. Instead, we're going to use lightsabers. So this is going to be a two part tutorial. We're going to start this week. I'm going to make the the car pull toy rig or the pull. What is it? The car toy pull rig. Yep. That's what it is. And, um, then next week I'm going to actually have it drive through the environment that we're going to create. Okay. So I'm going to start by, Oh, one thing I want to mention, I am working today in hit film version five, which is hit film express 2017. The reason is because I have some glitch issues and some problems using hit film express, uh, version 8, the newest version that is uh, as of this video. And so because of that, uh, I'm going to use um, 2017. It it probably does not have to do with HitFilm itself. It probably has to do with my GPU and how HitFilm is in interacting with that. So uh, just know that it can be done in any version of HitFilm Express that has the light sword uh, feature. So we're going to start by making a new composite shot. This composite shot is only going to be 10 seconds long but I'm going to call it the car or the, let's call it the toy car rig. Okay. Uh, clicking. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a three dimensional environment and I'm going to build a bunch of, um, points that are going to represent the car. So I'm going to start by creating a new camera. I'm going to click on new layer and say, make a new camera. And here is my three dimensional, um, environment that I'm going to build. I'm going to start by moving the camera. I'm going to lift the camera up higher, maybe 200, and I'm going to bring the camera in closer, maybe uh, 500, and I'm going to tip the camera down a little bit, uh, maybe 25 degrees or so, maybe 20 degrees. Okay. So I'm sort of looking now. Also, I'm going to create a new layer, a point layer, and I'm going to make it three dimensional. So now it's sitting right there and I'm going to hitting my F2 key. I'm going to call this camera control. Now, none of this will actually have to do with the um, actual car. I just want to be able to see the car easily. I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to attach it to or parent it to the camera control point. So now as I move the camera control point around, the camera will move around and I'll be able to see the car from all kinds of different directions. If I were to look at it from a perspective point of view and I roll around, you can see how that camera will be able to move around the actual car toy, um, you know, rig that I'm going to build here. Okay. 
All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to go to a top perspective to start. Okay, I'm going to back out here. I'm going to build a car toy rig, and I'm actually going to make that rig a certain size. And this will have a factor on it. Um, the size that I'm going to use will basically be in conjunction with what I'm going to do next week in my next video. But I'm going to start by creating a new point, and I'm going to make it three-dimensional. Okay, now I can move that point around. Oh, of course, I'll need to grab the... I can move that point around and I can place it wherever I want. So uh, I'm going to put it at about negative 400, I think. And I think, uh, no, I'm going to make that negative 200. And this is going to be negative 400. So there is the back right point of the car. The car is actually going to be pointing towards the camera. Okay, so I'm going to relabel this back, lower, right of the car okay now i'm going to right click on that and say duplicate i can also hit Control d and i probably will do that i'm going to use my f2 key to change this to back lower left position and i'm just going to move the point over here to the back lower left all right this will be on the z-axis i can actually click on that and then type in 200 to move it over so it's there but i'm going to undo that and I'm going to show you a quicker way of doing that what you do is you hover over it you hit your control key and you just click on it and it will change the sign of that that's a pretty quick and easy way uh, to move a point or move a uh, any sort of a property that all you want to do is just flip the sign okay so now I have two points one there and one there and if I go back to my perspective view you can see those two points right there and right there and if you go into the camera and I highlight those two points, then you can see them in the camera right here and right here, okay? I'm gonna actually draw those down below. Go back to my top view again, and I'm gonna add a couple of more points. I'm gonna take the back lower left point, and I'm going to duplicate it. Clicking my F2, I'm gonna say, this is going to be the front lower left, okay? And I'm going to flip the sign on this one, boom, and put it here in front, okay? And then I'm going to duplicate my back lower right. I'm going to hit my F2 key and I'm going to say front lower right. And I'll open up the transform properties. And again, I'm just going to move it. Okay, so now I have these four points and they are going to represent the base of my car. So you can see where are those four points of one, two, three, four? Those are my four points. And I hate to say it, but I think my camera is probably too close. Probably cannot see the front two points. So I think I will go ahead and back up my camera a little bit. Maybe I should have done that before. And there they are. One, two, three, four. That is my car. Okay. Now I'm going to start designing and playing with the points of this car. I think I want the, you know, this one to be in a little bit, that one to be in. So it's more of a wedge shape. Uh, and you know, I would add a whole bunch of rigs and, and you know, places where the, the lines are going to come together. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just make it very simple, uh, for this tutorial, but you could actually have as many, points as you want in your rig. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to go through that very quickly. Okay, so now I have this car with only six points to it. Okay, and all I have to do is just make lines that connect all those together. Okay. If I go back to my active camera and I highlight those, you can see there are my six points, okay? If I rotate this camera around a little bit, maybe to there, then you can see those six points sort of from the side. There's the back of the car, there's the front wedge, okay? Again, I could make more, but this will do for this particular tutorial. All right, so now what is going to happen is, is if I turn off the plane for a second, you can still see that those three-dimensional points are in the shot, okay, in this uh, view of the camera, right? If I were to put a new layer, a plane layer, okay, and I were to take that plane 
and you can see it right here, and it's a two-dimensional plane now. It's not in the three-dimensional space, so it won't be seen in three-dimensional space. But if I were to assign lines and draw those lines on this two-dimensional plane between those points, then as those points move, the lines would move as well, you see? And that is how you're going to draw this vector graphic style animation. So I'm going to relabel the plane, clicking F2 as the car lines, okay? And I am going to search for the light sword two-point auto layer only effect. I'm going to drag that onto my car lines uh, plane and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to make some changes. The first thing is you can see there's this nice glow. We don't want the glow. That's under the inner glow. So I'm just going to zero out the width of that. Okay. Under the core, I want to go ahead and change the color of this to white. Okay. I want it to be white. This is very important. All right. I want to take the feather down to zero so that it's completely straight line. And I want the stability of it to be 100 because normally a lightsaber would be flickering. We don't want it to flicker. We want it to be stable through this shot. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to open up the hilt and I'm going to assign it to one of my points. Let's go ahead and assign it to the back lower right point. Okay, and let's open up the tip and let's assign it to the back lower left point. Okay, so now we have these two, this line. Okay, but this is actually out of place because it's off by 300. So I'm gonna go ahead and zero that out. And so now there's the back bottom edge of the car and in fact i'm going to go ahead and using my f2 i'm going to relabel that back bottom okay that's the back bottom of the car okay now i can change the width to whatever i want it to be and i'm actually going to knock it down to about five pixels okay but this will be important because this may change as you are messing around. I could make this 10. Okay. But whatever it is, I'm going to have to change it all the time. Okay. Now, yes, I can adjust the percentage of width. Okay. To make it a little bit quicker, but the bottom line is, uh, ultimately this is going to be really a factor. Like I said, I'm going to make this five. Okay. But even if I change the scale of the entire car, that is not going to change. And I may have to go in and mess with that a little bit. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to hit Control D while it's highlighted and duplicate it. And I'm going to call this front bottom. Okay. Front bottom or just front edge, right? All it is, but it'll be on the front bottom. So we'll call it front bottom. And I'm just going to make this the front lower right. And I'm going to make the tip the front lower left. Okay. So there's the front bottom. All right. Then I might duplicate that and I might say this is the left bottom. Okay. And if I open it up, the front lower right needs to become the back lower left. Okay. And that's right there. And so now this is the left edge. Okay. And if I duplicate it again, then this would become the right. I could just make this into the right bottom edge. And I would just change this from back lower left to back lower right. And I would change the tip to front lower right, front lower right. And so there's the bottom of the car. Okay. Now, again, before I go any further, it's important to know that this, these lines are not visible in the 3D space. Okay. Even if I turn on you can see that those 3D points are still there, but they are actually attached to the 3D points, but they're being drawn on a two-dimensional plane. And if I go to the perspective, you cannot see those points. They are not there, right? Or those lines, I mean, those lines are not in the three-dimensional space. They are being drawn on a two-dimensional plane that only the camera can see this plane right here okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and make the other one two three 
for five lines that I need to finish this car. Okay, so now I have created essentially what's a little wedge here, and that's all it is, right? But it's my car, okay? And I'm darn proud of it. Here we go, right? And of course, I could rig up all kinds of stuff. Could I rig up, uh, you know, wheels? Yes. Could I rig up a satellite dish? You bet, right? Radar and so on and so forth. I could do all of those things. For purposes of this, I'm not going to do that, okay? But I want you to see how that works. Now, there's only a couple of more things we have to do. One is, one is, is that this plane is currently black and with white lines, okay? So we want it to actually be see-through uh, so that when we put it in our environment, we can actually see the environment. So I'm going to right-click on the lines, and I'm going to say blend mode of add, okay? This will be very important. Otherwise, you won't be able to see through it, okay? Also, I'm going to be able to change the color of those lines in any way. Now, I could change each color lines color that would be really a pain in the patootie so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a tint effect underneath all of the lines opening this up i'm going to make this 100 percent and then i'm just going to say map black or white i mean to whatever color if i want it to be orange i can map it to be orange if i want it to be purple it can be purple if i want it to be green it could be green in this case i'm going to actually map it to blue so that I can add it in my project for next week, okay? The last thing that I need to do before I save this project is I need to create a control point that all of the other points are going to use. Now, I could use one of these points, uh, like the front lower left point or the, or the front lower right point would be the two best ones to use. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to uh, take my front lower left, duplicate it, okay? And I'm going to call this master control okay and what i'm going to do is open it up and i'm just going to put it in the middle of the front okay and then i'll bring it up to the top here if i grab all of the other points i'm going to parent them to the master control point Whoop, and there they all are controlled uh, and so, and by the way, in hit film version eight, when I do that, it doesn't actually do that. And that's one of the, one of the glitches that I've noticed. So, um, uh, I, uh, uh, now I have a master control point that if I move around it, the car will move around and I will use that to actually have it travel its path through, uh, the environment that we're going to create next week in next week's video. So in the meantime, if you have any questions about how to do this, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.